guys, Luna here, and we're back on our Kingdom SMP server, which we're in our little village that we're slowly expanding over time, and you probably noticed this little, well, not really little, but large building here, and it's actually a barn that I started working on, and before you know it, I already kind of got an outline and stone. So, put simply, what I was doing with this, uh, here are just some spruce trap doors. Uh, yeah, spruce trap doors, which I just did from the bottom going up. So I don't think there's really any difference from going top, top down. Yeah, there is a slight difference just with some of the shading and stuff, so you do want them to all be on the same side. But... Yeah, I just did bottom up just because I thought it might look along this along these up the top here I did the spruce stairs going up and around just so we have the border the center obviously got another set of stairs and then I think that I believe that's spru a spruce log a strip spruce log and on the top I got the stair borders which I might change to make it look slightly different. Yeah, uh, along the side here is five blocks wide of dark oak and spruce logs going all the way up just to the top. I did, granted these are the wooden form, but you can use the logs as well. Along the side here, it just continue repeating five paths of oak, oak plus then the sixth being the spruce logs going up. And the stairs here. Since I knew I wanted stairs on the going up to the second floor where I'm going to have farmer villagers up on the- I did- did one in. Uh, obviously, I, this was before me thinking that I was going to add in trap doors along the inside here. I just did one inland from the door just because I thought not seeing the doors it's the stairways immediately when coming up definitely looks better. I did three up and then, another, and then two spruce two spruce planks and another three up which I got to the top. Long I did a dark a dark oak plank that I, for this little thing did dark oak logs going all the way nearly to the top but uh, I might eventually bring it to the roof but I don't not not sure yet. Uh, dark oak just up until this layer right here which is into which is in tune with the the second stair from the top. and I did fences along the top here so up and then up one and so basically uh, so just so kind of give so you're still able to kind of look over and see the floor below and obviously for this side I'm going to be mimicking this but as of right now this is just the the dark oak fences serve just the placements. I did have the dark oak fence go out one just for an extra little kind of like railing. And I do need to put some spruce planks right there just so looking over it looks like normal stairs. But inside here is just some little storage space, which I will soon. I will eventually do the doors for one as well, but for right now. I just got someone's doing here. Lanterns. Put the lantern there. So there's some lights, and in here I basically brought out some warp. Very beginning, just put a lantern here just for some lights. Each fence is three, four, five, six, seven wide if you include this one right here. So it is shared, so. In the middle is the warped gate so you can get in, but you can also just hop on the fence and get in through that way. And of course, and I alternated between carpets and lanterns so everything can see. And in the back, I did a very similar pattern to 
front, but with how I ended it, this is one shorter now. So. So yeah, there's not this extra block that's in between this and the wall, it's just right next to it, pretty much. And yeah, I This pattern along the roof, I only, I really thought that having just just a textured roof of when I eventually fill it in, which yeah, let me let me show you at least a little bit, because when looking up from the floor, that like just looking up a pure pure blank, just pure. Psh, Planks. It's kind of boring, so I wanted to try and find like interesting patterns. Like I might, I may be tempted to do something like that with the beehives, which I think would look really cool, just to give the barn either either a tilted look where it's just an inlaid ceiling, or just a different texture from just the normal look, which I do need to paint. I want to put a couple beads here. One, two, three. Some different looks, and then I'll just oh, I didn't re record the beginning of this because I not expect to get some, so much decent progress, but now you can actually see the third effects, or at least the secondary half of this. Oh, purple. Ooh. And then let's do some Let's do the beehives just to see what they look like compared to you know what? Because I love this tech, like the bottom line texture. Like, I think there's a little too inconsistency if I accidentally place it wrong. So I think I'm gonna go with the purple because it gives it a little pop, but without having to worry about the detailing of accidentally placing it in a different way. Guys in the comments think that you like the beehives better, I can always just that are easily is didn't want to do bim the no pandas because you need bamboo to like to breed them and stuff where they eat bamboo so it's just there's also foxes as well but again Just, I 
technically animals that you might see on a day to day basis, excluding pandas and foxes. Chris. I do chain land.
one of the last at least few builds I'm actually thinking of showing on here at least on the series because at this point many of those who were on this series before just haven't really been active due to various personal lives so I need to do this first and foremost. look over and see who comes in as you're on the top. That looks interesting. but it's a little, which is the important thing. Let's get this from this side. Haha, <laughs> just cute. 
Maybe I just... Mm. Don't know if I should. Not at the very least. Kinda done. Needing lanterns from the ceiling. So. the center which I think looks good. Where there's no lantern I'll do a lantern in the side of so at least a little bit of light in these darker sections. And there we go. That looks cute. I like Just stick with me. That looks at least a little bit better, not as awkward. I did the same thing to this side too. There's some goats. So I had four in there. The last one. I have no idea where the last one of you went. You want no to kill it. <laughs> After you skip through the tiny gap, but I highly doubt that. bees just hanging out here too. I don't know if this is the best spot for them, but at least it gives a little bit of texture to the back wall, which I like.
do that, but I can do that. So. Might do like a little, I would totally love to do an open window just to let the bees in and out. up plane and put the beehive outside because bees can be rather annoying so is horribly uneven. Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. Maybe if I do... Public server? Oh, there's an iron girl. Yeah, there's not. This high pixel. So. Beans for sure. Um, 
pumpkin seeds, melon seeds. Yeah, I'm gonna melon seeds together because they're funky. And there's the beet root, definitely good for that. Carrots and potatoes, what are we thinking? Uh, carrots and potatoes, so. Okay, and then uh, there's the mushrooms as well. That was way too loud for my taste. Yeah, let's get... There's some come as cosmetic uh, berry bushes just around here. A few on the other side as well of, the, of this place. Wanna know cool sugar islands? Let's see, gra uh, glass. Green grass plate. Do that. Water. More than one, or else it looks a little weird, but a little cool decoration chip that I've just created. Immersing, my, immersing myself in the internet. Do you need a And they, they have need food. Maybe I uh, oh I should totally do this. I don't even know how many. Okay, so 
no longer start for start my base way over there, but instead uh, it's over here. Which if they did decide to head through the village, they can make my way, make their way through here and over to my kingdom, which is right over there. Which I know I keep getting sidetracked, but there's a lot of things that I've been wanting to do, at least now that I'm actually sitting here and thinking about it. These aren't the most pretty farms by any means. People want bamboo or anything. Did that just so people immediately spawning over there can come over here and get some food. That transitional thing that's like, hey, over here. this way.
do this as a weak view kind of thing. So Do something cool like Green grass and breaking blocks under gra the grass is kind of annoying because you get the extra seeds, which you don't always need. Root of melons.
the farm that's not designed to be aesthetically pleasing, but more bang for the buck. Just time for some melons, which I'm just gonna But hey, that's not the point. He's building me. He's already starting to come in. That's so nice. That's really nice. It's gonna look so cool. I think the purple does give it a nice pop as well, since I'm sure the browns are cool, but. Nice different change. left is just idea of having just this eight little this one area just being open up so bees can come in and out and cool painted spiders can get in but maybe if I do uh... There's something there, but... Are you getting him? I don't know. These can still come and go. We'll just leave it like that for now and just see how that looks. If not, I'll fill that up. Or at least leave it open. Since... This one section entirely. Mm. 
And now just time for you to fill in this section. That berries don't eat that. Let's just start. Just because I'm just gonna put job, villager jobs up here once this section was actually built. Doing this is because a good way just to say this is where my top layer is going to be. Like everything's on an even level. what they're called because oh well, I think it's one of them screen yeah there we go I need some mycelium And some bone meal. Put in this little area right here. Perfectly lined. Let's get let's spread this out a little bit more then.
about it. Of course, they just happen to overline. <laughs> Crimson stems just to throw it, and then I'll do another section. Or at least the bottom floor. The Glowberries will just start going in a bit. Yeah, some of them. I think I'm gonna fill this. think do you guys like the little berries in the windows in the or do would you rather have a closed off more barney feel or would you rather have open windows with maybe either open windows or windows with glass because um, let me see this episode's definitely running a bit long as i got sidetracked with the farms but let me know what you think because uh, Definitely gonna do in the next episode. Definitely be building the top half of this. So let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your life. And may the stars forever.